Howdy folks, TJ here. Does the Amiga One X5000 connected wirelessly, kinda, to a all-in-one printer type of device, is it able to scan documents? Yes, at least in my case, and probably in many of your cases soon. Uh, did you know there's a program called AirScan that's available on OS4 Depot that allowed me to scan a document that I have a wireless HP 7300 series or 73000 series printer all-in-one copier de device in my house over in the corner. I have that wirelessly connected to my router. Now my X5000 is connected to the router wired because it's right here behind the screen where I have my router, but the printer's not. It's stuck over in another area. And I found out I could scan. What led me to this is that soon, well, I, I shouldn't say soon because I'd be speaking for the programmer, but he's working on a uh, called instead of Air Scan, Air Print, which is a device or a program like this that will allow you to print too. That's the one that I'm really looking forward to. But as a test, I had posted a note in his thread over on Amigans.net. If you're not a member there, you should join. Air Print dot device and I posted in there well I've got an HP Smart Tank 73000 will it work and he says well if AirScan works with it then it should so I went and grabbed AirScan <laughs> and tested it yesterday and it worked let's read off to you what AirScan is the screen may be a little fuzzy I'm coming in clear but when we go to run the program a little, a little bit and do a test I'll actually uh, scan in on the screen so you can see it better but this says it's a native Amiga scanner utility. AirScan is the name of the program. I'm calling it program. Uh, and it's up, it looks like date was 11 April 2023. So it's not that old. Um, and I'm surprised I hadn't read about it already. Uh, and the name of the author is, and I'm going to probably butcher the hell out of this, but A-R-I-L-D is the first. So is that Arild? 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 A last name, A-A-R-B-A-K-K, -K, Arbach. Now, I don't know if that's his real name. It could be a pseudo name, <laughs> uh, but it's a name nevertheless. Uh, and there's a website you can go to, www.amateursoftwaregroup.no. And it's a utility, a print utility, basically. But this one is the scanning feature. Minimum OS is Amiga 4.1. And then I'll read off the description down here to you. And then we'll focus in on the screen and actually show you the program and show you my limited knowledge of it so far and show you how kind of it works, I guess. So it says, AirScan is a native Amiga scanner utility based on ESCL protocol. I know nothing about that, but maybe you do. Uh, then it says, MDNS protocol is used for locating your scanner. Improved since version 1.0. Oh, the screen went to sleep. <laughs> Added preview for scanner where you can also select scan area either by choosing preset formats or push and hold the right mouse button in frame of the preview window. I didn't I didn't read this before, so I'm glad I'm reading. At the moment, preview will show color even though a grayscale 8 or black and white is selected apparently. Final scan will be in selected color mode. This is due to my program in using data types, and the default data type supports only color so far will be improved in a later version. More options are now available. Should now work with Samuel Piscator Erisane Server. <laughs> I'm a Piscator. That's a crazy name. Simul Piscator. Uh, still no support for SSL planned in one of my next updates. Uh, installation, extract archive, and copy air scan to a folder where you like. So let's quit out of this. And his name, just look for airprint.device over on amigans.net. But the person's name there is M-C-L-E-P-P-A. M-C Lepa? Are you into MCing stuff? I don't know. The MC could stand for Michael Corleone, for all I know. I don't know. Uh, now let me, let me, let me try to move the camera in a little bit more. Maybe I'll expand this. I don't know if this will clear it up, but let me... I, I've got a really tight corridor over here working. Uh, stage area left. Okay, uh, hold there. Uh, I, I think I got... Oh, jeez. 
That should work. Okay, and I'm focusing it on the screen. Hopefully that works. If not, oh well. So, uh, let's see. Work. And we're going to put it utilities. Air scan. I'll put a shortcut to this in the future. <laughs> uh, air scan. And here is the, let me close all these other ones. Okay. Center stage. Air scan. It looks like a nice, big, bold printer. I don't know. Can I move my camera in closer? Yeah, let me just, let me stop the, the uh, video. I'm going to set up my tripod a little bit differently and kind of focus in on the screen a little tighter. So hold tight. Okay, you won't see my ugly mug anymore, but uh, hopefully you're seeing the screen clear enough. Air scan. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Now let's go ahead. Let me actually remove. I don't know if I'm going to screw shit up by removing my Smart Tank, HP Smart Tank 7300 series. Let me go ahead and hit delete. And then, let's see, what did I hit? Uh, let me relaunch the program. Did I save this earlier? Let me quit. Okay. Plus, search for scanner is this big button up here. It doesn't look like a button. It looks, but it's a big long-ass button. It took me a little bit to find it, but search for scanner. Click on it. Now it's searching. Again, my uh, printer is wirelessly connected to my router. My X5000 is directly connected to it. So technically, it's still doing it wirelessly. I don't have any Ethernet cable into my printer. Now, if I had my X5000 wirelessly connected to the router as well, which I don't know if you can even do, uh, then it'd be truly 100% wireless. But this is close enough. So it's found my printer. So basically, MC Lepa said that if this printer is found in this program it should work with this air print coming up so i select it i click add scanner receiving scanner information what it says down here now it took a little bit before as it's receiving scanner information then it pops up here so it found it so there we go now you need to select the printer and it's the 73,000. So here are the different settings. Now, I don't know if this is coming in clear enough or big enough, but scan mode, it says there's flatbed or document feeder. So you can use a document feeder or a flatbed in this case. It does both. Data format. Looks like uh, application octet, ST image, <laughs> ST with an Amiga. How about that? Uh, image, JPEG, or PDF. I'm going to select PDF. Resolution. You've got all these different resolutions. Now, I'm guessing it queried the printer and scanner saying, what can you do? Let's just do 300. I don't know if that's too much, too little, but let's just select 300. What were fax machines? 100? So, anyway. Size. It's on custom now, but you can change to A4, A5, A6. I'll, I'll leave it as custom. Color mode. Looks like black and white, grayscale, or RGB. I'll leave it in RGB 24. Brightness, I'll leave alone. Compression, I'll leave alone. Contrast, I'll leave alone. Sharpen, I'll leave alone. Needless to say, that's all the settings that I see. This is a big preview area. I'm going to hit scan preview. It is now chatting with my printer across my office. Now, this is not super, super fast, it, but I'm guessing it goes by the speed of your device and wireless and all that but it's still pretty awesome in my opinion so it's going to give us a preview of what you shall see i should have put a big atari logo on there it's a butterfly <laughs> so cool so right now i can scan so this is the preview now what did he say right click and then drag around if you want to change shit up let me try that i don't know if that will work right click no right clicking on my particular mouse is not doing anything so uh don't know We'll figure that at a later time. Uh, scan preview. Okay, so let's actually scan this now. So I'm going to hit scan. I don't think you can hear it because it's a relatively quiet scanner. But it is now scanning. And it should save the file as save file name. Whatever I typed in, I typed in testing scan. It's saving to my RAM disk directory. Which I'll put up over here. It says it's scanning down here. I'm circling my mouse around it in case you can't see it. And there you go. Testing scan.
PDF document. Now let's go ahead and double click on it. Let's, let's quit on the scanner. Uh, we're done with it. We scanned what we wanted, okay? Double click. And this huge, uh, now I keep getting this bad DCT trailer error. If you know what that is, it looks like it says re direct to console. I, I don't understand that. That's gibberish to me at this point. But let me just make this window a little smaller. It doesn't need to be so hurricane. So there you go. It opened it up. This is a PDF document. Now, right now, I could send it to mom. I could send it to whoever. So you can scan your documents. So this is just a simple video showing you, hey, I scan this, and this program works wirelessly to my HP Smart Tank 73000 series printer, scanner, copier. That's pretty cool stuff. Now, I look forward to, let me pan this camera back out, and then we'll wrap up this video. So, uh, yeah, hold tight. Hold tight. So that's pretty cool, right? Scanning on your Amiga 1 X5000, and I'm guessing any Amiga OS 4.1, where you've got a wireless type of all-in-one device that does the air print technology, you may be able to do the same thing, so give it a whirl. Uh, as soon as I see him come out with the printer version, I'll have to definitely grab that and donate a little bit uh, at that time because the printing is what I really need. I just wanted to do this as a test to show, hey, this thing can scan. That's kind of cool. But uh, I can't wait to see the printing one. And if the printing one works with my system, I'll definitely send a donation your way as appreciation for a cool application that you've created, uh, whatever your name is, MC Lepa, <laughs> uh, for the Amiga One. Because I can see... I don't do much scanning. I'll be truthful. I'm, I don't scan stuff, but I do print things. And printing has been a voodoo thing with Amigas for a while, at least in the groups that I hang around with. We always make jokes in the IRC. It's like, you still got that printer working? No, it doesn't work anymore. Just a lot of stuff that goes on with it. So if there's an easy way to print to a modern printer and it work and it look good and the documents come out printing nice, I'm all for it. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found this entertaining, helpful, uh, but yeah, air scan. Go, so go to OS4 Depot. If you do a lot of scanning, this, this program may be for you. I look forward to the printer, though. That's the one that I really need here at my home office. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.